and today I want to provide you with a video on how to incorporate rich craft a little more in your daily life. These practices are seemingly mundane, so they are great if you are still in the broom closet. They are simple and have such a solid place to, to begin with. If you are a new witch or even if you are the most experienced one, all of these practices are just a great way to incorporate some more magic into your daily life and in turn, when practiced in the long run, will enhance your witchcraft practice greatly. So let's begin. One of the first things that I do every morning is set an intention for my day. Now I'm sure you have heard this a multitude of times and hundreds of places, but there's a reason why it's so commonly repeated. When we set an intention, we are putting our energy and focus into a desired outcome that affects the way our energy moves. That's really what magic relies on. Our energy being focused into a place, sometimes with the influence of other external objects like candles, herbs, to provide this desired outcome. When you're setting intention, this can be done through writing, which is a really great one because you are literally getting your energy and inscribing it into a paper. Speaking it in your head aloud as you kind of move out of bed. Even setting that intention within like your morning cup of water. And if you are really wanting to maybe enhance more psychic ability within your witchcraft practice, I also suggest in the morning to meditate, especially right after intention. This morning I took the intention of wanting to bring in more self-compassion, some rest and kindness with that rest without kind of the feeling of needing to do something productive all the time. And further straight from that, I reflected it with the color of clothing that I wear. As a witch, it is extremely beneficial and almost mandatory to know colors and their correspondence. A great reference would be the chakras and what colors that they represent. And today I wanted to bring in more kindness and gentleness for myself and the way that I see the world. I wore green in correspondence to the heart chakra. As you can see, I wore my green dress and some green earrings with a bit of glass, green glass. Now, if you don't have a huge variety of color in your closet, or if you don't have the color of the energy that you are trying to attract within yourself and outside of yourself, it's okay too. The way that you are going to want to do that is when you're putting on your clothes, imagine the color and feeling. So it is like you are quite literally putting on what you are wanting to, to gain throughout the day, whether that be grounding with the color red, confidence with the color yellow, divine connection with the color purple, wearing it on your body, or even just holding that color in your head, putting on clothing and things of the like is a wonderful way to further enhance that intention. Even just your daily healing, emotional needs in general. The next thing that I want to talk about is the magic in our food and in what we drink. Each item of food and herbs and flowers, especially anything that we can really like ingest, all things that grow from the earth have their own auric and magical properties. And we see that a lot in things such as herbs for making spell jars and spells and incense and candle coatings. Tea is an amazing way to truly get the essence of an herb or a flower and ingest it and work that magic from the inside out. A little more time for research here is ideal. Say you are wanting to drink a tea with rosemary for protection or chamomile for self-ease. Even if you have a tea that's like a mix of things, you can look up the correspondence of each thing or just kind of focus on one thing. With eating, foods have this ability as well. When eating, especially plants from the earth, they're also ingesting those magical properties. Today I just had something as simple as cereal and I used what I had to create a little spell, a cauldron of a spell if you will. For example, the barley and wheat in my cereal for fertility, blackberries for 
prosperity and walnuts for wisdom. And when we're focused on something like making food, the same intention goes into that. A really huge connecting one is connecting to the earth and the spirit of place around you. I will do a separate video on how to connect to the spirit of place, but for now, just walking outside and observing the plants and flowers and trees around you is so important for your spirit. Now, you don't have to live in like a forest or near a lake or in these great mountains to experience this. I literally live in an apartment complex and I just have learned to connect with the little weeds and small plants and trees that are surrounding my apartment. Google has this great thing where you can kind of search on Google Images the plants around you and you can identify them in that way, like it'll show you. And I've learned that speaking to the trees through their, through their scientific name is something that's so powerful, brings about a mutual kind of respect witchcraft we do know that everything is alive everything has their own energy their own spirit but it is in their own way and we must respect that I want to know it's really important if you are foraging or gathering anything from outside you make sure that it's safe for your animals in your home and especially foraging wisely nature around your home is a home to beings other than yourself and when we over forage say dandelions that can be not only harmful to the environment, but creating a system of distrust between you and the nature around you. So it's always good to come with a gift for the spirit of place. And again, I will mention that in another video. And when we speak to the plants and the trees, we are so connected to source. One of my favorite, more simple ways of bringing more magic and witchcraft practice into my life is through singing and dancing. When we speak, we are releasing a tone, a vibrational signature. That's why you'll see like on YouTube, kind of the vibrations of like different chakras. So when we sing, we are quite literally emitting a vibrational power with the incantation that is lyrics so listening to music that very much makes you feel inspired and joyful is so impactful we truly are not taught about how powerful sound is and how it composes everything that is around us for dancing we are quite literally stomping out shaking our arms and our body and our head the energy that is needing to be let go of one of my favorite ways in which I practice in my daily life is through cleansing. I know a lot of people have helped a lot with Palo Santo and Sage, but of course that can be very culturally insensitive if you are not of, of descent of where those practices come from. But other ways that you can cleanse your energy or aura, of course, going outside but taking a shower <laughs> you know taking a shower with the water the element of water is of course known to cleanse and just sitting in the shower and just imagining and going into the drain any energy that isn't yours any energy that is not serving you you can do this while brushing your teeth of course like washing your face etc your hands last but not least is the magic of gratitude whether you are just simply sitting breathing drinking water eating a meal with a friend watching a movie that you really enjoy, seeing a bird just walk around, being with your family, your friends, really anything. Pull that gratitude out and express it. Could that be in your head or expressed verbally? This expression truly just rises our vibrational frequency, or a glow so much brighter, makes any, any habits or anxieties be easier to release. Hello, Editing Sophia. I also wanted to add it that because of that, it makes your magical practice so much stronger. The effects that come from your spells or any practices are more likely to support you in the best ways possible because you aren't holding on to things that are holding you down. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and I am so grateful for you for watching. I am sending you all of my blessings and have a good day.
and ask Juniper.